Hello everyone. Today we continue with methods for identity proof. In the last video, we discussed how set identities can be proved using membership tables. Today we'll discuss the other two methods used for proving identities. A proof that each set in the identity is a subset of the other, and the third method, use set builder notation and the propositional logic. We start with the second method, a proof each set in the identity is a subset of the other. The general idea of this method, that having the identity with two sets, S1 and S2, if we prove that S1 is a subset of S2 and S2 is a subset of S1, then this implies that S1 equals to S2. For example, to prove the first distributive law, A union B intersection C equals A union B intersection A union C. The text belongs to the left part, A union B intersection C. This implies that X belongs to A or X belongs to B intersection C, which implies that X belongs to A or X belongs to A or X belongs to B and X belongs to C. Also, which implies that X belongs to A or X belongs to B and X belongs to A or X belongs to C, which implies that X belongs to A union B and X belongs to A union C, which implies that X belongs to A union B intersection A union C. Therefore, a union B intersection C is a subset of A union B. Now suppose that Y belongs to the right part, A union B intersection A union C, which implies that Y belongs to A union B and Y belongs to A union C. Also, which implies that Y belongs to A or Y belongs to B and Y belongs to A or Y belongs to C. Which also implies that Y belongs to A and Y belongs to A, or Y belongs to B, and Y belongs to C, which implies that Y belongs to A, or Y belongs to B, intersection C, which implies that Y belongs to A, union B, intersection C. Therefore, A union B intersection A union C is a subset of A union B intersection C. By combining these two results here and here, we get that A union B intersection C equals to A union B intersection A union C and this proved. As another example, we'll prove the Morgan's law. So we have to prove that the complement of A intersection B is a subset of the union of not A and not B, and the right part, the union 
of their complements is a subset of the complement of their intersection. You already know that if A is a subset of B and B is a subset of A, then this implies that A equals to B. We start by the left part. Suppose that X belongs to the complement of A intersection B. This implies that X does not belong to A intersection B. And this is by the definition of complement. And this implies that X belongs to A and X belongs to B. And here we have to move the complement. And this is by the definition of intersection. And by using the Morgan's law, we'll have here or not and here not. X belongs to A, X belongs to B. De Morgan law for propositional logic, which implies that X does not belong to A or X does not belong to B. Again, definition of complement, which implies that X belongs to not A or X belongs to not B. And by the definition of union, X belongs to not A, union not B. Do you see, we started here by the assumption that X belongs to the left side, the complement of the intersection A and B. And we conclude here that X belongs to the second part. So this part is proved. Now we have to prove this part. Again, the text belongs to not A union, not B. This implies that X belongs to not A or X belongs to not B, which also implies that X does not belong to A or X does not belong to B, which also implies that X does not belong to A intersection B which also implies that X belong to A intersection B or not. By combining these two results, we get that the complement of intersection of A and B equals to the union of their complements. And hence proved. The third method used for proving the identities is using set builder notation and propositional logic. Suppose that we have to prove the Morgan's law complement of intersection A and B equals to the union of their complements. Using set builder notation, the complement of intersection A and B equals to X such that X does not belong to A intersection B. And this by using the definition of complement, which is X such that X belongs to A intersection B, but here we have the complement, which is X such that complement X belongs to A and X belongs to B. And this is the definition of intersection. And by using the Morgan's law, complement of X belongs to A, and here we'll have or complement of X belongs to B, which is X such that X belongs to not A or X belongs to not B by the definition of complement. Here we have the brackets here as well, which is X such that X belongs to not A union not B. And this by the definition of union, which is not A 
you know, not be a test proved. For proving set identities, you can use any of these methods unless you are asked for a specific method. For today, that's all. Thank you.